150 cars were registered at the South Burlington location on Monday, and one person can pick up a maximum of three meals. Now, if you do want to pick up some food, you need to pre-register online, or you can call 211. Discover maybe a new park or trail that you've never been to before, or pick up a new hobby like golf. But remember, if you're going to go to a driving range, there might be less space than what you're used to because every other section has to be blocked off in order to maintain social distance. Coming in here today has to wear a mask and only 10 people are allowed inside at a time. And voters are even asked to bring their own pen. These are be open by July 6 of 2020, be located in Vermont and provide for Vermont children, be open for half day or full day care, and be a part of an organized group. It's been a week. It started last Tuesday. And now if you could take a look behind me, you can still see their campsite all set up. I'm gonna step out of the way so you can get a better look. But there's a ton of tents out here and it's definitely grown over the past week. Now just taking you through a quick little timeline of what the past week has looked like. Each scoop this weekend is $3, which will equal five meals to help support the Vermont Food Bank. Leg goes out. All right, maybe now. I'll get this one because I'm actually looking at you this time. Yeah, there we All go. All right. <laughs> now your, le your right fingertips come behind you. Okay. Yeah. And then your left palm comes to your... And everybody's been so great here this morning, packing all these bags, putting in the hard work. And guys, just so you know, it is hot in here. And they are working Monday to Friday to put these meals together for the children. So I just think that's that's absolutely amazing. And right before we went live, I caught this giant fish. And I'm not lying, we vouched for me. It was big. It was a big smallmouth bass. Yes, and he was right here. And I was so excited. So, but then the line broke and he went broke and swam away. Good morning, Abby. Look who I've got with me. I've got K9 Duke. He, I've got some treats in my hands right now, so he wants those. That's kind of why he's all over me. But we are also joined here. Come on, Duke. Get down. With his handler, Officer Cohen. Don't look down. Okay, don't look down. <laughs> ah, I am scared of heights, so this is going to be interesting for me. Okay, I'm going to make it. Here we go. I don't know how far I'll get though. We'll what better way to cool off on a hot summer day than to enjoy a nice, cold, creamy. The community, the great view, and the delicious food is why Blue Paddle Bistro is this week's winner of 44's Finest. We're going to stick around here. We'll have more water safety coming up for you. But we're going to keep swimming. So back to you guys with you. We're up. Bye. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik spoke with New York State Colleges on Monday, including SUNY Plattsburgh and North Country Community College to see where they are at in the process. The man is scheduled to go to court next month after being charged with hate-motivated disorderly conduct. The South Burlington police say he's 24-year-old Randy McEntee. This year we're lucky enough to have Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday fall on the same day. Now, normally you'd be celebrating by going out to one of your favorite restaurants, maybe like Agave, and getting a full table side service. But instead, this year, we're just going to have to celebrate at home with curbside pickup. We've gone from interacting with tons of customers to now wearing masks. We've gone from taking uh, orders at the table to taking phone calls. So it's been a big change for us. Sam Handy from Agave says it's not the same Cinco de Mayo like previous years. Typically, if you were to come out here during Cinco, we'd have a tent going. We'd have two or three bands lined up for the day, giveaways, prizes, all sorts of things going on. The pandemic has had a hard hit on a lot of restaurants. Will Lowry from Bueno Isano said he had to close for a month. It just wasn't feasible. There just wasn't enough business uh, takeout. People were scared. Will said luckily he got a loan from the Paycheck Protection Program and was able to reopen. I'm optimistic and I'm paying my employees for full-time work um, even if they have reduced hours because I mean that's what the whole PPP is for. For now, restaurants are having to get creative to get their customers on the phone. Been really pushing social media. Um, I have a great management team that pushes social media on a day like today with Cinco. Getting the word out is really important. We're trying uh, pretty hard on Facebook and on Instagram um, through local channels. Um, you know, I got a big banner up in the front window, you know, right on Dorset Street, so we get a lot of traffic going by. Even though we can't celebrate like we're used to, there are still ways to enjoy the day and support local businesses. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Brittany Weir, Local 22 News. This month for 44's Finest, we are focusing on the best game day takeout. So I've got my referee pants on and we are ready. We are in Burlington at our first stop, which is the Church Street Tavern, because their food and atmosphere is touchdown worthy. The Church Street Tavern is a small local sports bar located right in the heart of Burlington. 
They pride themselves on being a family-friendly eatery that always has the game on. It's a comfortable, small local business, and that's the idea that we're really trying to promote, especially right now. On a normal game day, their bar is usually packed with eager fans waiting for the game to come on. They come in early just to reserve their TVs. We have them all queued up. Um, so we're missing that right now for sure, but we're excited to have what we can. What would you say some of your most popular game day items are on your menu? Wings for sure, burgers are super popular, um, our nachos are great, mm -hmm. uh, little snacks here and there. We have phenomenal fries. I eat way too many of them. <laughs> That's um, all good. We love fries. That's okay. Nice. My go to on game day is always hot wings, but if you don't like them spicy, there are some other options. We have the more spicy, we also have some mild ones, so there's a little bit of something for everyone. The pandemic has presented some struggles for them, but they hope that all changes by kickoff. It's a great place to support small local businesses as well as supporting your team. So there's something for everyone at the Church Street Tavern, and that's why they are this week's winner of 44's Finest Best Game Day Takeout. Cheers.